Hey everybody, Joy here. It's Sunday afternoon. Actually, it's late afternoon. It's like 4.30. Uh, we watched church this morning, which you'll hear about on Shine, for those of you that watch Shine. And then we went to lunch and had turkey and dressing. Oh my goodness, it was so good. And then we went to my sister's house and we sat on her patio and Janice and I sat on the swing and Jerry and her husband Jonathan sat in some chairs right there near us and we had a long talk and ate ice cream cones. It was wonderful, wonderful. So it's late in the day. So I cut up all the names. There's 17 of them in here. I got 17 emails and I shuffled them off really, really good and I had Jerry choose one. And so here's the one that Jerry picked out of the bowl, and it is, I don't know what this means, but it's RT Blade 4, RT Blade 4, and her email says her name is Tristan, and that she grew up with lots of horses. Her parents showed and bred Arabian horses, <laughs> so I don't know if a purple horse, a pink horse, a green horse, uh, can be compared to an Arabian horse, but she says she wants them, so we're going to send them to Tristan. Then I got a request for the pattern. So, I found the pattern, and I did a little clip earlier, so I'll show you it right here. Wonder of wonders! I didn't throw away the pattern. Diana Harvey said, can you give me the pattern? And so I do have, I have a whole bunch of patterns. I evidently was going to make a whole bunch of these horses and make a quilt for my little granddaughter, Lindy. But she had a horse relationship for a very short time. <laughs> and it takes me a very long time to make a quilt, as you know. So I've got Kentucky Derby Day, 8-inch block, which has two different pages of things you have to piece together. And then I have a 4-inch block of one that's called County Fair. County Fair. And it's got these to piece together. Those will be little tiny horses. So if anybody wants me to send them these, um, I will photograph these and upload them to my computer. And so if you Gmail me, you know, my address, my email, and ask me for the pattern, then I can forward a copy of these pages to you. Okay, and then you can do whatever you want to with them from there. All right. Okay, so I'm going to watch for request for a copy of these paper piecing patterns for horses. And um, I will email them back to you if you want them. Remember, one set is 4-inch horses, one set is 8-inch horses. And remember, when you cut them out, now they're paper, you know they're paper. So when you cut them out, be sure you cut out a quarter inch past past the line eight inches you have to have a quarter inch around so it's probably eight and a half by eight and a half and when you get done you end up with an eight inch horse Tristan I'm sorry but I don't like tearing this paper off of here but I think I got most of it off the green one and it'll be real easy for you to take these borders off of here because the horse is still the same size as it started out to be so if you want to do something besides this pink you can just simply remove these borders but I will send you uh, all the fabrics that I made the horses with, and I'll throw in a couple more patterns just in case you want to make some more Arabian horses. <laughs> so for the rest of this day, which is almost over, <laughs> I'm going to go change my clothes, get into something comfortable, and I'm going to go play in my sewing room the rest of the afternoon, as far as I know. Maybe my quilting room. I'm not going to make any horses, so I promise you that. <laughs> I'll be back. Oh, good morning, everybody. <laughs> I go through the Kleenex, y'all. I buy cases, three cases at a time, and I go through them in a couple months. Oh, allergies. Trash can isn't even big enough in here for that empty box. So, Jerry and I have not broken up. We're not mad at each other. <laughs> But I've had to move up here at night. I'm having to sleep up here by myself. Because, y'all remember Jerry had to get on that CPAP machine? Let me toss these. He had to get on that CPAP machine. 
and it's been doing just fine since he got it but lately it makes noise all night long and I have a really hard time sleeping to start with so when his machine starts making those snap crackle pop air blowing like air coming out of a balloon and it's not like it's like just pop 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 and then I'll poke him and I'll say do something with your mask and so it'll stop for like three seconds and I'll think okay I can go to sleep and then all of a sudden all night long so I've been getting up like 1 30 or 2 in the morning from downstairs and coming up here so last night I decided I'm just going to stay up here. <laughs> he didn't want me to. He said he'd move up here. I said, no, no, no. We're not going to move your pacemaker up here and your CPAP up here and everything in the world up here. So that's why I have a new job every morning now making this bed. <laughs> and I knew you'd want to know. <laughs> I thought, I need to make a video. And I thought, Oh, I need to go in there and make that bed first. So it's it's what you're seeing this morning. I know. I know one year, years ago, what's under here? Probably Kleenex. No, wrinkles. My mother always said, get all the wrinkles out of the bed. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. So anyway, years ago. I was doing mostly quilting. Oh no, I was doing sewing, making shirts in my videos. And for some reason, I was in my bedroom and set the camera up in my bedroom. And I was showing people something I was doing in the bed. Maybe crocheting, I don't know. But my daughter said, I can't believe you're making a video of yourself in your bedroom. <laughs> And then she told me later that um, she watches this knitting lady. I know the knitting lady, and I've watched her a couple times myself, but I, I can't remember anybody's name, you know. I do good to remember my own name these days. And um, she called me back, and she said, well, I'm sorry I said what I did about your bedroom, and who would care about that? <laughs> she said she was watching this lady that she watches, and the lady was showing something. I don't know if it was in her bedroom or her kitchen or what. And Tammy said she just loved watching it. She loved seeing, you know, what the lady did outside of sitting at the desk teaching people how to knit a sweater or whatever it is she does. I don't think that's enough room, Joy. All right. When I get done, when I get done making this bed, <clears throat> I'm going to start a new project. And I think, I think I'm going to start on the scarecrow. On the leaves, because you know why? Because it's fall, y'all. <laughs> it is nice outside. It's cool. Ah, oh, yes. All righty. So put Mama's little teddy bear there. And let's go get Barkley. Whew. This is Barkley. You know, I introduced you to him already. All righty. So let's go in the other room and start the scarecrow quilt. Come with me. This is not coffee. <laughs> My doctor told me when I had COVID to drink lemon tea. So now Jerry and I'd rather have lemon tea than coffee. <laughs> I've actually mixed one lemon tea bag with one blackberry herbal tea bag. And so I filled it up twice with hot water. Yes. So I made a decision. I told you I was going to start the quilted scarecrow, and I am. I've got my table all cleaned off, and I have my quilted 
scarecrow purse with all of the fabrics in it. I'm so excited. And I'm going to start at the very beginning. I'm not going to start with his head or his boots or something. I'm starting at the very beginning. But I've decided that I don't want to put this at the end of me making the bed. I mean, that's goofy. So I'm just going to do clips of the scarecrow quilt by themselves. And then put them together for how I made the scarecrow quilt or something later, okay? <laughs> so I just wanted to show you I really am starting it. It really is the cutest of the cute. <laughs> I hope I don't mess it up. When you have just a limited amount of fabric and they put all of the pre-cut amounts in here, I'm always so nervous I'm going to cut it wrong. And then I won't have enough material. I've actually done that in the past. <laughs> but I've made a lot more quilts since then. So maybe I'll hang my uh, scarecrow up here. I don't know. I, I noticed this morning when I was showing you me making the bed. Um, can't believe I showed you me making the bed. But anyway, the, the point of that was to explain to you why I was sleeping upstairs now. Okay. I noticed there's a whole blank wall in there still. I love this house. I love the upstairs of it because all of our pictures, we have a lot of really gorgeous pictures at our other house, but they're still there. And they don't go in this house. The colors are all different in that house. So the walls are all blank here. So I've got all kinds of places to hang quilts up here. And I am really excited about that because you're never, I don't even remember what quilts I made. My goodness, how many are up there? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. There's sixteen quilts there. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten quilts there on the top of my IKEA shelving. And I don't rem I remember some of them. Like one of them's the one I made of all the birds representing family members. One of them's for Valentine. One of them's a black and white one my friend Terry made me. One of them's a pink one that was on my wall forever at the other house. And part of the problem is, a lot of my quilts don't have hanging pockets on the back of them. And I either need to apply hanging pockets or hang them up with those little pin nails. Oh, I just made that crooked. Sorry. If the sewing machines are going downhill, sorry. Jerry? I'm always hearing noises in this house. <laughs> Our washing machine. Our washing machine straight downstairs from here. It is the loudest, loudest spin washing machine. It sounds like a jet started up in the laundry room and is taking off. It is so loud. <laughs> it, does, oh, it does a really good job uh, getting the water out of the clothes. So I'm going to shut this down because I know everybody's interested in who was the winner and uh, for my little contest. And I have a lot of other things that I can give away. It's just a little bit complicated to give things away because I want to be sure I'm giving them away to my subscribers. I don't want somebody from someplace else that has nothing to do with quilting or sewing or anything and they just go around looking for giveaways everywhere. So I really liked that this one that I just did was just I put the video up at night and the next day at noon it was over. That was really nice. So I like that kind. <laughs> I may do some more of those. I think the next thing I'm going to give away is scraps. Cotton quilting scraps. So stay with me my friends. But I'm going to shut this down for today. Today is actually the 10th. I think it's September 10th. And Philly's class started today. Philly and I both paid $500, goodness, six months ago for a Solaris series of classes that starts today and I canceled mine I got my money back when I found out we were going to be doing a barn right now I decided I didn't have time to sit in front of a computer taking a class and making things you know with the Solaris for the class and um, so I got my money back but I figured Phyllis will know everything now and if I want to know something I can just ask Phyllis <laughs> so anyway she's taking the class so we may not get to have a play day for a while. I appreciate y'all. Do y'all watch that? I appreciate you, girl. <laughs> she always says, appreciate you. She's got like 2 million subscribers. She is a real, real beautiful young girl. And she hunts and she fishes. And she like, 
kills turtles and and uh, wild hogs and goes under the the water and sticks her arms in holes and pulls out gigantic catfish as big as she is and throws them over her fold her shoulder and has scars all over her arms. What's her name? Hannah. I think her name's Hannah Barron. And we watch her sometimes, not very often. But at the end of her video, she always says, appreciate you. <laughs> anyway, I appreciate you. I'll be back sometime. Hopefully soon. But not in this video. Ha, ha, ha.